Today I got a really important message for everyone concerning overachieving. So the title of this selection is called Overachiever. What does it mean to be an overachiever? To clarify the definition of this word, let's separate these two words. Let's start with over. The word over means in, at, or to a position up from, above. The word achieve means to succeed in doing, accomplish. Based on these two words, overachieve then means to be above someone in success. Who are we trying to be above? Let's focus on this question. People don't realize it, but they are trying to outperform God. Society has encouraged overachieving. In fact, if you aren't an overachiever, you will not get that promotion or pay raise. Why is the promotion and pay raise so important to us? When it comes down to it, it is pride. Let's say you visited your best friend and she shows you a smartphone. Well, now you get to wishing you had what she had. Now our favorite devices, envy, covetousness, and greed appear. You feel inferior because you don't own one, so you go out and buy one. Now you are at an equal level with your friend. Now your friend adds a new app to her phone that you don't have. The vicious cycle goes on and on. When is enough ever enough? How many items do we need to collect or how much money is needed before we are satisfied? In Matthew chapter 6 verse 21, Jesus has a special message for us. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. You don't lose your love for God quickly like many people believe. It gradually fades away. You lose it little by little. First it is the raise and pay. Now here comes the promotion and you believe that you are so happy. You want everyone at work to know. You sing it to the hilltops and declare it to the world. I got promoted! That feeling lasts for a couple of weeks but now you resent the long hours. You also resent being in the middle. You want to climb higher, so it goes on and on. And every time you get a raise, it is never enough. Family members encourage you and say, you deserve more. Or perhaps you are at a job and rumor has it that, let's say Tracy, for example, gets paid more than you and she does the same job. It is time to be bold and confront management. That just isn't right. And it isn't fair. Let's see what the Bible says about justice. Is it even ours to give? No, that right is reserved for God. 1 Samuel 24, 12 The Lord judge between me and thee, and the Lord avenge me of thee, but mine hand shall not be upon thee. These are words to think about. Words that I even think about. Have you ever considered that maybe Tracy needed the raise more than you? Maybe she doesn't have delinquency and debt like maybe you have, which makes you feel justified in your reasoning for deserving the raise more than she does. But maybe she needs that raise to make her feel good about herself. Have you ever walked a mile in Tracy's shoes? Matthew 5.25 instructs, us to agree with our adversary quickly. Agree with thine adversary quickly whilst thou art in the way with him, lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the officer and thou be cast into prison. What can this mean in the world of work? Let's say you take your complaint to the boss. Let's say he gives you that raise. Did you feel good in how you got it? Did you get it honestly? No. Ephesians 4, 9, 4 29 let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth but that which is good to the use of edifying that it may minister grace unto the hearers you stood up for yourself the management didn't get the best of you now from the pride you have in your heart you make it a mission to tell others 
Now the poor manager has several employees demanding their raise. Did you use communication that helped give grace to your fellow workers? Yeah, I showed them how to get their raise. I did an excellent thing. No, this is where you err. You showed your colleagues the bad behavior at work is rewarded. You showed them how to manipulate their boss and overstep their boundaries. Well, rules are made to be broken. For, did you ever think perhaps that rules are made for our protection and benefit? Proverbs 25:28. He that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. Have you ever asked yourself what would happen if you followed the rules rather than to dodge them, maneuver around them, slide by, or break them? Good things will happen. God will show you. This is a life-changing message. Psalm 34, 8. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Come to him as you are, and you will see results. Good things can happen in your life when you are obedient. Faith and obedience are relatives. Hebrews 11, 6. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Notice when you are at work that you didn't have any faith that your boss would give you a raise. Like everyone that has ever had a job, you grew weary. Galatians 6, 9 And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap, if we faint not. Is demanding that raise producing job security, or is it taking away? What if you were a candidate for a higher paying promotion, but because of your behavior, Tracy was selected? Then, Tracy, your adversary, now can give you orders. What is worse is that she may be tempted to exact revenge on you and make your work life worse. That is where Matthew 5.25 comes in again. Pay attention to the last piece of this message. Lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the officer, which would be management in this case, and thou be cast into prison, which is to be fired, to be unemployed. Now Tracy has the power to get you fired. That raise wasn't so great after all. In fact, it emptied your pockets. Being in bondage to overachieving can empty your pockets too. People get too competitive trying to keep up with one another, but yet the overachiever falls behind. Let's say for a while you are ahead. What did you have to do to get where you are? What more will you have to do to stay there? How much time did you sacrifice away from home? While your career blooms, your family life lay in ruins. Was it worth it? Luke 3.14 And the soldiers demanded of him, saying, And what shall we do? And he said unto them, Do violence to no man, neither accuse any falsely, and be content with your wages. These are the wise words of John the Baptist. Did John the Baptist get angry when Jesus outshined him? John actually promoted Jesus and encouraged people to come to Jesus. Luke 4.16 John answered, saying unto them all, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I cometh, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Could John have said to the people, Yes, I am the Christ. Follow me? Sure he could have, but he chose to glorify God. I hope today you decide to glorify God and come to him. Come to him as you are. Let your guard down. I encourage you to leave overachievement to God. After all, I was reminded today, your disobedience is not cute. It is not something God likes. It doesn't impress him. But your love for him and dedication to him does. Dear Heavenly Father, please bless these words and please ha let these words uplift your people. And help draw people towards you with these words, Lord. These are life-changing words. I am confident 
and I know you're very confident that these words will change lives for the better because that's all you want for us is the very best for us Lord you're waiting for us to come home even if we are the prodigal son when we come home and admit our mistakes you will run up to us and you will put the finest robe on us and you will prepare a feast and then everyone will have a party that's somewhat how it goes you will rejoice in the fact that your prodigal son came home at one time all of us have been the prodigal son and these are very encouraging comforting things to know that no matter what we do we're always welcome we're always welcome to come home if we just admit the wrong we've done so father please bless us and please help lead your sheep home and please help add other sheep to the fold that were not once even considering perhaps to come to you tell them it is all right and you're here for them lord in jesus name i pray amen